I have a crush on a fictional character and I don't know what to do. I've let this stupid silly guy take over my life and now all I can do is get off. Oh, okay. Um, sorry. <clears throat> sorry, I didn't, I, I, I didn't know we were gonna say that. Um, my eyes are watering. Wow. Hi guys, welcome, <laughs> welcome back to another video. Confessions, <laughs> woo! Not just any confessions though, y'all. We're gonna read those Valentine's Day confessions. Wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> now before I continue, I want you to stop typing. Yes, stop typing. I, I can already smell the comments talk about. This is not a Valentine's Day confession. It's not Valentine's Day. It's been months. Let me just let me just be honest and upfront. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for promising something and not delivering it in time, but we we need to look at the other side of it, okay? Mima was busy. Now most years I stay at home during Valentine's Day, but this year was different, okay? And it's just, it's a one-time thing. I, I never do anything on Valentine's Day. It's just this one year, I was a little busy, and, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was, you know, out of town. Like a my My coochie pink, my booty all brown. No, I'm playing, but I am sorry that I promised this video and I didn't come in time, but I'm doing it today. And you know, Valentine's Day was like, what? Two days ago? And if you disagree with me, you're wrong. Anyways, I asked you guys for Valentine's Day confessions. I usually just get Google to pick a random number, but you know what? I feel like in honor of this video coming so late, um, how many days has it been since Valentine's Day? Okay, it was 44 days ago, so I think we should pick confession number 44 for the culture. <laughs> I once got so obsessed with the boy, I would carve his name into my bedroom walls with a knife. At least not in a body part of someone else. <laughs> okay. We're starting off so strong here. We're starting off so strong. You know what though? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. If it was either <laughs> you carve his name in your walls or you carve it into another human being, I'm so glad and delighted that you chose the walls. I'm so happy you chose that. It's cute, I see the vision. I feel like you have so much love inside of you. You had like a love surge. <laughs> so you took a knife and you, you applied that to the wall. I feel like for the ranking, <laughs> I can't even try and lie because I'm actually such a bad liar. I have to put it in, did I just read my own confession? Let me explain. When I was in the first grade, I had this like insane crush on this guy named Kuba. I don't think he's gonna see this though, we're fine, but I literally like went home and would like draw hearts around his face in the class picture. My sister actually found the carving and she like tilted it towards the sun and she's like, why did you draw a bunch of hearts around his face? And I'm like, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, <laughs> What are you talking about hearts? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> no. In that moment, you know, looking back, I was just like so in love with him. I just couldn't put my love into words, so I had to put it into my left hand and draw a heart around it. So I get it. And I've honestly done that before. Sometimes like when you just see the picture of them, you need to like get the edge off, what? but like not in a weird way, in like a cutesy, like wholesome way. And at least I wasn't carving people. Come on. I have to put it in, did I just read my own confession? I'm sorry, I hate to put it there and I wish I didn't have to, but I also, I can't lie. That was a good start. You know, maybe it's good that I waited 44 days <laughs> to film this video because now we're actually able to like ease into this sometimes like the first confession is so awful And then like I'm scared to read the rest of them, but you know what? I'm not scared to read a book from book of the month. <laughs> sorry. Sorry a book from book of the month today's sponsor Woo! Listen, I've talked about them before but if you haven't heard of them book of the month is a online book service where each month You get to pick between five to seven books to be delivered straight to your doorstep and best believe I got my books <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the best part about Book of the Month is that the choices that they give you help you discover new authors and completely new genres. So the first book I got was How to End a Love Story, and this follows a girl named Helen who ends up working with a guy named Grant. But Grant isn't actually like just a random stranger. He actually has very deep ties to her past. The second book I got was Hussie. 
Yes. So this book follows the main character named Lauren, and basically one day she comes home to her husband, Michael, who she's apparently married to, but she has no memory of this man. She does not know this man. But when Michael mysteriously disappears, a new man takes Michael's place, and then the cycle just continues. I read the synopsis of this, and when I tell you, it immediately became my book of the month. Book of the month also has an app where you can track your progress, and they now offer two formats where members get to pick between an audiobook or a hardcover book. If you're interested, you can go to bookofthemonth.com to join. And for a limited time, you can join and get the first book for just $5 using the code PASTEL. I'll also put the code in the description box below so you guys can check them out. And also, thank you to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. <laughs> pre-reading these. <laughs> I have a crush on a fictional character and I don't know what to do. I've let this stupid silly guy take over my life and now all I can do is get off. Oh, okay. Um, sorry. <clears throat> sorry, I didn't, I, I, I didn't know we were gonna say that. Um, my eyes are watering. Wow, we're, we're so open and honest here. I love this, I love, I love this community. All I can do is get off to the thought of him but he's not even real. Anyways, love you, Grandma Furry. Wow, wow, I'm the furry? I bet your fictional crush is literally Nick Wilde. Who's the furry now? Both of us. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow, there's so much to unpack here. But I wanna drag you for calling me Grandma Furry, but honestly, you know me too well. I can't, like, honest, I'm done trying to beat the allegations, y'all. Let's just face it, I'm a first. Okay, I'm gonna take the sentence one by one. I have a crash on a fictional character. Totally normal, totally acceptable. All you can do is get, oh, I, I mean, sure. If that's what's gonna help you get that release. Uh, so uh, if it's helping you, sure and he's not even real. Honestly, I'm at that point where I don't know if it's better to be doing that to real people. Like the fact that it's a fictional character, it's like, okay, at least he's not real, right? Like, is that agreeable or is that like, are y'all looking at me through the screen like, oh, that's not. Is it not better that it's a fictional character rather than a literal TikToker? I don't, I don't know. I feel like because I don't know who the fictional character is, it's kind of hard for me to rank this. <laughs> like, I just, I just feel like that's so necessary for me to rank this confession. Like, who is a character? Cause let me find out. It's the Lorax. If it's the Lorax, I promise you, I'm, I'm locking you in jail, and I'm taking those keys and I'm, I'm throwing them away. No, I'm swallowing them. You are never gonna see those keys again. Because let me find out. You're getting off to that fluffy tangerine. Yeah, to jail you go. But also it's like, is it Levi Ackerman? Is it Aaron Yeh? You know what I mean? Like, is it Gojo? Like, so uh, I mean, if it's the Lorax, to jail you go. But if it's, I don't know, Levi, perchance, then we can put this in the top tier. But for now, it's like, let's unpack this. We really need to unpack who this character is. And I, ugh, every time I ask you guys, like, if this is your confession, like, literally come through and text me or comment down below so I can find you. It never usually works, but if this is you, like, just in the comments, tell me it's not the Lorax. It's not the Lorax, and, and I'm fine, and we're cool, and we can, we can keep it kicking. <laughs> Guy on Tinder and they went on two dates together. Yesterday she told me she was pregnant with his baby and he proposed to her when they found out. So now they are on their way to get married and have a kid after two Tinder dates. And that's not even the worst part. My other friend who has been in an on and off friendship with my pregnant friend texted me last night saying that she matched with someone on Tinder and sent me a screenshot of my pregnant friend's baby daddy. <laughs> Wait, this is so messy. I'm so confused right now and it feels like a prank. I don't know if I should tell my pregnant friend that her now fiance is cheating on her or if I should just step back and watch it unfold. LMAO, I am in college right now and I already am dealing with too much. What do I do, Grandma Teb? <laughs> I'm sorry, I would have to bring it up or talk about it. I, I, This would stress me. Having exams, having tests, 
having lectures and on top of that your best friend is pregnant after two tinder dates but that also is the same baby daddy that also is on tinder that your other best friend matched with like that would actually give me a brain aneurysm but the question you asked here is what do i do and honestly if these are your friends you got to get to the bottom of it because stuff like this they don't just they don't just go away this is definitely one that we need to unpack i feel like i still don't even have the full story and i'll wait for a part two because is it a prank is it real like we need to unpack and find out <laughs> never dated before, no hold hands or anything, and I'm in college. Listen, I'm in college too, and I, I don't know why, but I feel like that's very common for us. Like, especially with COVID and like the lockdown, things got very dry. Things got very dusty around here. And you know, your time will come. For now, just enjoy being single and enjoy life. And who knows, maybe next year or next month, you'll finally go on a date or you'll hold hands with somebody. But for now, what's the rush? I feel like this one belongs in Did I Just Read My Own Confession? I don't know if this is gonna make you feel better, but I'm in the exact same thing as you. And I'm just living life. Keep putting yourself out there, keep doing your best, and the best will come. <laughs> to this one i don't even want to read it i got my ass railed like a um. okay yeah no yeah um <laughs> listen as long as it was consensual as long as you had fun and as long as it was enjoyable. I'm so sorry to the person in the last confession. Like, if that was you and you had to listen to this, like, I'm sorry. I don't plan this out. Like, it's just Google picking random numbers. I'm gonna put that in. That should be me. That should be me because when is it gonna be my turn? Like, genuinely, I go to bed every night and I'm like, when is it my time? When will I be removed from the desert? Because at this point, I live here. I started paying rent. I actually bought a house in the desert because it's so dry. Um, sorry, this isn't about my experiences. This is about you and your pig railing. So listen, it sounds like you had a good time. And if you like it, I love it. Okay, okay, since you so kindly asked, here's the tea, Graham Graham. I was at a college party with my friend who was trying to set me up with somebody since I'm a stay, at, stay in bed ho. <laughs> she gave me a drink and said something like, this will help you get in the mood. I trusted my friend, so I drank it. And it was disgusting. Don't drink, kids. <laughs> Anyways, I started to feel the effects really fast. Or maybe it was in my head. I don't know. I haven't drank since because of what happened. I don't remember the clear, clear details, but I remember somebody put on music that got everybody dancing. And I was dancing with my friend when all of a sudden this guy bumps into me and spills his drink all over me. He must have been a decent dude because he shouted over the music that he was very sorry and took me to the bathroom to help me clean it up. I now reeked of alcohol and he was trying to dab some of it off with a towel. And the drink was spilled all over my chest. Wait a minute, hold on. This is starting to sound like a Wattpad scene, I'm sorry. This is sounding like you stole the plot from some like random Wattpad written by a 13 year old. It was straight out of a Wattpad for real, for real. No, literally. Because after he finished helping me clean my shirt, he must have noticed how tipsy I was because he leaned in and whispered, I can see how wet you are for me. Nobody says that. I'm sorry, but I can see how what, nobody says that. Like, raise your hand if somebody has ever said that to you. I didn't care what he thought was gonna come next, but with the Lord as my witness, I wasn't drunk enough to get turned on by a wop <laughs> Love it. So yeah, never went to a party again, and after I told my friend what happened, she agreed. JK, I made it all up. LMAO. Okay. For that little stunt you pulled, 
to jail you go. To jail, why would you, I knew, I knew it, I literally, I'm sorry. The drink spilling over your chest and like the scene, I, I knew I read that somewhere and I should, I, ugh, I should have stopped reading. I knew this was not real because who actually says that? Especially strangers at a college party. Like as hot as that is to read on paper, like I feel like I've read that in a book and I've been like, ooh, like this is good. Reading that on paper is one thing, but actually like envisioning somebody saying that to me, bro, if somebody actually like, especially a stranger bro, like imagine somebody said, I see how much you love me. Do I know you? <laughs> like in my head, I want that to happen to me so bad, but I just know in the moment I would vomit. I would vomit on the spot. You're staying in jail though for wasting my time. I knew it. Ugh. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I hope this one's real. <laughs> so basically there was this guy and everybody was saying to me that he liked me. The thing is, he was my next door neighbor. Ah, wait, that's cutesy. I want a cute neighbor so bad. Oh my gosh, guys. You know how I was saying, like I just moved out and like, you know, new house, whatever. I feel like our neighbors are cute, but I can't get like a good look at them. <laughs> I've literally only seen like glimpses of their faces. And first of all, there's like 20 people that go in and out of the house. So I'm like watching and I'm like, who actually lives there? Anyways, there's like a window down downstairs and like you can kind of see out of it and like see directly into the other person's house which is so creepy but anyways i was literally in the kitchen making tiktoks just like being whatever and then i looked over and my neighbor was at the table looking up like hey neighbor but then he turned around so i'm like he definitely hates my guts um and he definitely wants to skin me alive that was kind of awkward but i feel like that could be like the beginning of something like imagine just like like, I don't know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. And before y'all get ahead of yourselves, we, we do not need to make a wet pad out of this. Like, can I just have a normal experience without y'all making stories? Y'all, I'm sorry for, for going off topic, but literally today, why did somebody send me a fan fiction of me and the light switch? Me and the light switch. And you know what I said to provoke it? I literally was like posting in my story and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I'm renovating and I gotta put like the, the light switch blades back into, let me just show you. to get that off my chest. Okay, back to the story. I'm sorry, I feel bad. I feel bad for just going on a random tangent. I'm very sorry about that, but we're gonna resume. Basically, there was this guy and everybody was saying to me that he liked me. Thing is, he was my next door neighbor and back then I didn't know it. By the way, I didn't like him. He used to talk to me every day in school and when I wasn't there, he would ask my friends if I was sick or something. I'd be gay. One day I came to school on Valentine's Day and everybody was staring at me. I thought that there was something on my clothes so I asked my teacher if I could use the bathroom. When I came back, I saw the guy sitting in the seat next to mine holding something in his hand. Wait, this is kind of good. <laughs> I went up to my seat and saw what he was Holding. He was holding a rose and a whole ring. Oh, a ring. Like a ring pop, like a candy ring, a physical ring. When I tell you everybody was staring at me, I mean everybody. He told me how he loved me ever since we first locked eyes with each other and he would do anything for us to be a couple. Oh my gosh. I felt so bad because I didn't like him back, but I had to tell him. I told him how I felt and he dropped the rose and stomped on it. I mean, that's, that's a reaction for sure. For the ring, he threw it out. And remember how I said we was neighbors? Yeah, every time I tried to say hi to him, he would ignore me every time. I felt so bad for telling him that, but I really didn't like him. Every time I talked to him, he seems to be annoyed at me. Then he just stopped talking to me in total. But yeah, that's my story. I am so sorry. When I was reading the beginning, I thought this was gonna be like boy next door meets girl next door and they walk together to school and he has a surprise for you on Valentine's Day. I thought it was gonna be just like a card that says, hey, you're cute, would love to get to know you more, but a ring? I've loved you since the day I laid eyes on you. I promise you, if you say that to somebody you have never had a conversation with, it's gonna come off as the most terrifying sentence ever. I really hope this is like elementary school and this happened in like the fifth grade. Cause if this happened when you were in like grade 12 or something, like 
this is messy but also you should be very proud of yourself i know after this happened that probably wasn't your first feeling like oh i'm so proud i did this but the fact that you knew yourself and you knew your feelings and your heart and instead of trying to please him or please everybody else in the classroom you decided to just say no on the spot and made it very clear with him i feel like a lot of people my, myself included if i'm gonna be completely honest would have just said yes in the situation to either save their image or to just please others or the people around them, or even to just try and de-escalate the situation but in that moment you were like i'm sorry this sucks but i'm gonna be honest it's a no for me and from that reaction of him stomping on the rose and throwing the ring away like you dodged a bullet so i'm proud of you like when i tell you if i was in the same situation i probably would have just said yes in the moment and just went along with it for as much as i can bear until it becomes complete misery and i physically cannot do it anymore but people like you is who i I look up to and I know this isn't like the traditional situation in which you would tell someone yeah I'm, I'm proud that you went and did that to somebody else but the fact that you you stuck to your word and you stuck to your feelings I am proud I'm a proud me mom y'all that was a whole ride and usually I only say that after me go <laughs> ew sorry I'm, I'm literally trying to like grow up but it's so hard like i'm just so mature let me know if you guys agree or disagree with any of my rankings once again i'm i'm sorry that this was 44 days late it's probably been even more than that because this video is not gonna get posted anytime soon anyways i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next video bye, -bye. <laughs>